Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. It is the 9th of November and it's Tuesday. I am late. I didn't do one on Sunday. I wasn't feeling the best. And to be honest, I really don't have a lot to show you. Um, I have done lots of um, crochet tops on tea towels, but I don't think you need to see those. They are for the market this Sunday coming. Um, that's my charity stall and I always sell a lot of them. So it becomes a bit of a production line heading towards the market. Um, but I have had a go at a few different things. So um, earlier this year I started doing amigurumi and doing one a month. And I was making a Christmas decoration as a gift for someone. And I have finished it but I don't think it's good enough to be a gift. Um, it is this one, a sulphur crested cockatoo, which is an Australian bird. It is there is a pattern for it, which I'll I'll show you in a minute. Um, I changed the pattern in that I gave him safety eyes. I changed his beak. Um, I don't like the tail the way they do the tail. I would make him again and give him a different tail. Um, I just don't think he's good enough to be a Christmas gift. You can let me know in the comments below what you think. Now, when Thing first saw him, he said, oh, nice chicken. Reeves, who is far much more the diplomat and very careful, goes, a lovely bird. But yes, it's the sulphur-crested cockatoo, an Australian bird sitting on a branch, and he was going to go away in the mail as a gift but I don't think I'll be sending him. The pattern is um, Christmas Critters Cockatoo by Lincraft. That's there. They crochet the eyes and a round nose which I didn't like and there is not a picture of the tail. That's all there is so you don't really get to see what his tail is like and yes if I thought when I was making it change this I would have but anyway he is done now my sulfur crested cockatoo Christmas decoration I haven't put a ring on him yet I have to do that I did buy a new Christmas tree for this year which arrived last week my Christmas tree last year um, well for the last 30 years I've had this 90 centimeter Christmas tree and we've had a big six seven foot tree um, the six, seven foot's in storage. It's only worth getting out when we're having lots of family over. And the 90 centimetre, well, it was crippling under the weight of the Christmas decorations that I've collected. And it was on its last legs. So the new one is about five foot two. Can't remember what that is in metres. And um, yes, my Christmas decorations are decorations I have collected from around the world or family have sent me because they're unique and um, it may look a little bare because the 90 centimeter was quite full but this is going to take a lot to fill it so I figured I could bury my little bird somewhere on my tree to help fill it the other thing in November is being the 9th of November today on the 11th of November at 11 o'clock is when we remember our veterans. It is Remembrance Day. We stop for a minute's silence. The importance of that day for me is it was my parents' wedding anniversary and yes, my dad was married in uniform. He fought in the war. Now we are immigrants from England and big tea drinkers. For my parents, there was always a pot of tea. So when I took up crochet and knitting again, about five years ago, maybe a bit longer. Traditionally, for the 11th of November, I have made a poppy tea cozies because tea cozies are my first love. And I have made this year's. I have made this one. It is a small two cup teapot. Um, it's the first time I have done a white base and I have put poppies on the top. The leaves are currently pinned into place because I've steamed it to get them to go flat, like blocking. Um, that's probably the only thing I ever block is the leaves on a project if I want them to lay flat. I really like this new base that I've done and I probably will do that again for a bigger teapot. 
But this is my tea cosy for Remembrance Day to remember my parents' wedding anniversary and the veterans from the past and the present. I do sell this and um, I donate the money to a veterans charity every year. Um, sometimes I make two, but this year I've just made the one. So besides that, I am way behind in all my cows and make along. So last night I um, almost finished Zeta's calendar cowl for November, just a few finishing touches. I have done the section on the birthstone make-along blanket for my make-along. Tonight I will do the few rows for last week's for Nan's next knots before she announces this week's colour. And if I haven't got enough to do, I have decided to join Gary from Urban Jarns Bush Tracker Beanie Make-Along. Now I have made both beanies, his knitted pattern and the bag of day pattern um, before. I'll, I have done a video, so I'll put a link to that in above this somewhere. You can check that out. But I'm doing them again. And yes, I'm going to knit one and possibly crochet one. Depends on the time involved. Um, I do like these patterns. I know the crochet pattern is a big hit with um, crochet for cancer. I normally do that in acrylic and I do the knitted one in wool, which is always popular on my charity store, but it's a little hot right now to be selling beanies. So next video on Sunday, if I am not too tired after the markets, I'll do an update on how the markets went and all the cows I'm involved in. My mixtape make along is so far behind. It's ridiculous. And I've been checking out patterns for baby stuff. Like I don't have enough to do. Um, I think Reeb said, I'm going to take you off the internet so you finish all the things you started before I start something else. Anyway, I like crafting and I don't uh, watch a lot of TV. Um, it does keep me busy at night when I don't feel like doing anything else. So guys, have fun. Take care. Stay safe. Remember, life's an adventure and you like me, you could have a crafty adventure making a Christmas decoration. Handmade Christmas decorations are always nice if they look nice. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.